Welcome back to On the Beat. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today we're joined by our friend Patrick Wooten of Richard Swartz & Associates Law Firm, and we're going to be talking about how to best understand your insurance policy. Welcome back, Patrick. So good to see you again, Rachel. Always good to see you. Thank Always you. enjoy our conversations. I learn so much from you when you <laughs> well, come to visit you. us. I have questions today about how to best understand our insurance policies. Yep. If you don't know insurance, it doesn't make any sense. Absolutely, it's very confusing. And there's multiple types of policies from life to health to mm -hmm. auto. So I kind of want you to, not kind of, I want you to give us some clarity today on do we have the right coverage to protect our family yeah. in these in all the different instances that we run into? Yeah, great question. I mean, auto insurance, that's what we deal with day in and day out, and it's required. It is. But we are the most uninsured state in the country. Really? The statistics say anywhere between 18 to 25 percent of drivers in Mississippi carry no insurance. So that's a scary thought to think about as you're out there driving each day. That, I can't imagine getting in my car yep. and feeling safe out on the road if I didn't have insurance. I mean, not to cover myself and those that might run into me. No, absolutely. It's a no-brainer. The mandatory coverage is liability, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you said. That is money that if you were to cause an accident that that party that you injured could go after. But at the same point, it's kind of a shield to protect you and your family and your assets so that the insurance company is going to pay, you know, me if you run into me, you know, one day, which I know you're a wonderful driver, I'm so that would never driver. happen. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> Knock on wood. That's right. What about, are there policies in place to protect me against uninsured motorists? Yes, absolutely. And that's where the key is, is uninsured motorists, mm -hmm. which is not required, by the way. It it's an be. optional coverage. So when you talk to your age, or get on the phone or online and look for that insurance policy, definitely look at that because uninsured motors is exactly that. You're driving, you're in an accident, it's not your fault, and the person who hits you, unfortunately, has no insurance. And then in Mississippi, what's really interesting as we get in the weeds is you can stack policies. So if you have a household like a lot of us do, you have a car, mm -hmm. your spouse has a car, your 17-year-old now has a car, you can actually stack those policies on top of each other so that in turn, if you had a catastrophic injury, if you had $50,000 in coverage, but you have three cars, you multiply that by three. Now you have $150,000 in potential that. coverage. Interesting. Yep. What about comprehensive versus collision insurance? Yep. Same thing, different? They're different. Those are great questions. So the best way to think about it, collision is mm -hmm. you're in a collision. So you're driving your vehicle and you're in a collision. You run into a fence. Um, you run into a tree. Mm -hmm. That's in typically that's going to be a single. That's a single vehicle accident. Okay. Comprehensive covers almost everything else. It's hail damage. It's your car catches on fire. Your car gets stolen. You know, some crazy person comes and keys the side of your car. So there's vandalism. That's where comprehensive comes in. Again, not required, mm -hmm. but the key is really look at the entirety of your policy because you want to not only protect those if you ever cause a wreck, you want to make sure you individually are protected, your vehicle is protected. So there's so many layers to look at and to start, you know, marrying things up one on top of the other to get that complete coverage. I see. Um, what about discounts? Or mm -hmm. Is that something based on your driving record, tickets yep. that you've had? Insurance varies, obviously, yep. based on those types of incidents, mm -hmm. correct? It does. Um, with the comprehensive, you should have both, right? You should. I mean, it, you do, need... Most policies cover both, or are they two separate policies I have to purchase? No, it, it's just subsets within the same policy. I so see. that's really when you look, declarations page mm -hmm. is, is what you look at, which tells you what coverages you have the amounts you have. So the key to that is just really looking at that and don't be afraid to ask your agent or, you know, if you're in an accident, we are going to, you know, ask you at Schwartz and Associates to look at your policy and go through it with you to see what coverages are available for us to be able to make a claim on your behalf. Great. I'm going to give you a call. We're going to go through that together. Absolutely. Glad to do it. <laughs> good, good. If you have questions, want to know more about how Richard Schwartz and Associates can help you, give Patrick a call. All the information's up on the screen. I know they'd love to help you. And we'll be back after this short break.